Hi everyone, it's Ella again and today I'm going to cover the walkthrough for the solution to homework 3 on Data Warehouse. So the uh, official repo has, uh, if you go to the Data Engineering in the Cohorts folder for the Data Warehouse homework, there's already a solution posted, uh, recorded by Michael. And I rewatch it just in case I missed it, but um, I decided to do a separate take on it because Michael's video does not show the ingestion portion of the data. So I think most of us had issues with uh, trying to ingest the parquet files from the official New York City taxi data page, right? So that's what I'm attempting to do today. So this is my repo on GitHub. So make sure that you go to the LR twenty twenty four branch. So, uh, that's my yeah. This is my notebook. So let's start off with. Uh, we have how many questions? Six, seven. Right. So as usual, let me close this one. I'm going to kick it off with going to the folder where my integrated terminal needs to start off from because we need to launch the docker compose. So this docker compose for homework 3, I have uh, consolidated into the de-lessons folder. So let me select my kernel for the notebook and activate, activate my virtual environment okay you can you know the module 5 here this is my current branch I've already started on the module 5 lessons and homework okay so next once we activated the virtual environment we need to run docker compose up batch so while that spins up let me walk through the docker compose uh, yaml file so I've used uh, Mitch to ingest it, I think. I guess I should have checked that. Well, we'll see later on how I did it. So this is taking data from, let's open that, and the environment. Yeah, so if you watch my previous video on homework 2, that was using homework 2 uh, folder. Now I'm back to using the magic zoom cam folder that we use for lessons. So again, uh, everything in our current folder here is going to get transferred to this folder in our image uh, instance. And I'm using a uh, network and my magic zoom can volume, which is set here. So if you want to know how I set all this up, be sure to watch the uh, module 1 setup demo video and the walkthrough I did for the first module. Okay, so this has pin up, I believe we can confirm from this extension. Yeah, so it's under DE lessons. So again, if the image uh, browser does not open for you, which it hasn't opened for me, I can launch it from here. So this is a magic zoom cam which we have a lot of uh, pipelines already, right? So we needed to create this green taxi. Right, let's read through the instruction. So uh, there's an important note here saying that any code that is in SQL format or shell commands need to be either in the readme or if like me you use a Jupyter notebook it needs to be in the same file okay so the instructors if they need to verify your answer or anything like that they only need to open one file so in this homework we are using the 2022 green taxi trip record parquet files from the official New York City taxi data page which is linked here so you can use 
orchestration tools such as Mage, Airflow, or Prefect to load into BigQuery. No, do not load into BigQuery. Sorry. Stop with loading the files into the bucket. So we need to use the bucket option files when creating the external table. And then using the parquet files, create a table in BigQuery, but do not partition it yet. Alright, so I have uh, selected a sampling of the first two months of the year and the last two months of the year, just to observe the URL patterns. So I've reused my code from the last homework. So there's a base URL that stops here after the trip data slash and then the color which is the service type the year and the extension for the file name yeah so i've utilized the utils block in this one i'll show it to you in the image Okay, so there's been some changes here, looks like. I think I changed the name, load API green data. Let me zoom in for you guys. Okay, so I've uh, tried. Yeah, I can't remember which uh, path I use. But I've moved our module to camel to snake function to this utils helper. So then we can reuse our code. I think I moved this from load API from. Yeah, it should be this one. So let me see if I can remove that one. Spotter, let's shrink it first. Remove not this one. I need to remove that data block. No such file. So I remove this block and remove this block. Oops. You can't remove it if there's still a connection to it. So you need to remove the connection first. Same with this. Which one do I want to remove? So let's try and drag and drop that. So let's see if I can remove this. Is it still connected? Click to select one or more blocks will depend on. Look in. This one, right? I want to remove that one. Green text seems to me. API blocks in text in depending on block API. Okay, let's see which is CS okay. Did I remove everything?
Okay. Let's see if this is actually the code. Yeah, I have my camel to snake code here. So I have my mice. Let's try. Then the transformer is just to change the date. So it reads the files correctly. This is from, yeah, this is from the NYC page. So it finished 12 months, 84042. Okay, do I need to transform it? Actually, we're not supposed to partition it here, right? Yeah, remove this one. My bad. Sorry. Delete lock. We don't want to have the partition version. Taxi to GCS. Okay, is it this one? Let's see. I think it might be this one. So let's link it up. So that has run. Yeah, so that's done. Okay. So this is my green taxi ETL. I think I keep making changes to it. Let me see, save. Okay, so I need to commit again from my, yeah, here. So let's see my pipelines. Green taxi ETL metadata dot API for NYC transform taxi to GS parking. All right. So I need to commit and add that back. Okay. So now we are ready. Can I hide this guy? Let's do that. So over here, if I were to restart and clear all outputs, I think my prototyping from local files, oh, where did I open this from? You open it from here. Okay, so I was doing the experimenting on the local first before I work it out in the mage, right? Yeah, so it's the same code here. But this is dependent on my local files. Yeah, so my local files are here. Green trip data 2022.
that's why it's already 12 months worth of data 840402 so the question is where is the page what is the kind of records for the 2022 green text data 840402 which is what we get over here right okay next question question two yeah so it wants us to do the estimation which means that you don't run it you just select it okay i think because of my transformation yeah so once i confirm that my code works that's when i transfer it to the data block image and then this is just me doing some eda stuff you notice that there are some weird dates value eh? okay so nyc taxi data park okay let me confirm that is what our green trips data okay let me check green trips data so this is a combine far from mitch let me refresh green green taxi data from mitch yeah so we have date time oh but this doesn't have the camel to snake case This one has it. So let's open up my homework 3 as well. Let's see. Green trips data parking. External. Yep. So this is what we want. Green trips data. This is what I exported to my main zoom cam. So let's see. I created that and what do I call it? External green trip data and white taxi here. Yeah, so this has integer. That's the weird thing. Okay, so once we create the external data, select count from external green trip data. You should have 840.402. Right. So that's the answer for that one. And then... Question 2. So it says to create. Oh, see the question from Jesus here. Write a query to count the distinct number of PU location ID. So on external table and the materialized table. So this is the create non partition yeah so that's the external data and the non partition data so question 2 is we just want to estimate do i need to undo the cache Hello, settings.
why is it not opening is it because of the yeah it's the yeah so i need to turn this off okay let's zoom it back in so this is zero b for the external green data and it's 6.41 for the non-partition so the answer is 0 for external table and 6.41 for the materialized table so how many records have a fair amount of 0 so I think I copied all that from here yeah so all that So that's the code that I use to check the estimation. Question 3. Yeah. So question 3 is here. Green trips 2022 non partition. That's correct. Where fair amount equals 0. The answer is 1622, which is the answer here. And then question four, what is the best strategy to make an optimized table in BigQuery? So the question asks if we want to order the results by PU location, filter by date time. So filter is to reduce the number of rows, right? So that is to partition. So order is to sort by, order by. So that's your sorting. So sorting is by cluster. So sorting by cluster on PU location. Filter is partition by date time. So it's the second one. Yeah, so that's the correct answer. Then question five is write a query to retrieve the distinct PU location between start date and this end date inclusive. So this is the uh question that I had the most trouble with because my date time columns are in integer so I did a lot of uh, very weird workarounds so then we need to create the partitions first yeah so from the non-partition create the partition table which I call optimize so select that and run okay so optimize is my partition table this is the partition table So it's clustered by PU location ID, partition on date time, partition by date. So I actually could change instead of this LPAP date time. Let me see. No, up to here. And then use this. And we want greater than or equal to and less than or equal to this date. Unrecognized, what was it? Oh, date. Okay. 
Is it the full spelling? L pet pickup tip. Yes. Mm. 243 What was the question? Oh, they just want us to do the estimation Hmm Uh, where do I do that? Retrieve this thing inclusive. I don't need those. Is it to just look at 1282? And what was the other question? Non partition table and partition table. Non partition. Non partition is this one. Non partition. So this one says 12.82, this one says 1, could not compute. Partition of here is DT. DT. So I need to use DT for the optimize. Okay, let's try that. 1.16. There we go. So there's the answer. 12.82, 1.16. So just take the closest one. So where is the data stored? Yeah, Excel tables is in GCP bucket. Uh, best practice? No, it depends on your uh, use case and your requirements. Right, and then I think that's all. So there was a question on... Yeah, BigQuery already has answers to that one. So I could probably copy this, remove all that. I don't need this anymore. So this is the oh, I don't need this anymore. On partition and partition. Do all this. So I could actually save. Let me save this query. And transfer that to the D lesson C file dot SQL just as a backup okay uh, 
on a bunch of shit and start this round table. Right. Okay, just experimenting. Date, time, corners. Okay guys, so I think that's it for the homework 3 walkthrough. Let me know if you have um, any questions. So if you notice that I have my outline open here. So the reason I do that is because of the way I do my um, cell, cell blocks, right? So for every question, I put a section heading and the answer is in the next level section heading. So I can just jump through question, question. And the answer so if I were to um, check my form I just open it side by side like this and I just check whether I have selected the same the same options it's not unheard of that I click the wrong option button <laughs> yeah it has happened before where I click the wrong um, radio button so before I click submit on the deadline day I just verify that my answer and my selection matches alright so that's just my tip so I uh, hope it helps uh, let me know if you have any comments or feedback on slack or in the comment section below so I'll see you next time thanks for watching everybody bye bye